Hi, Sue. How are you? It's good to be back on board Negus after she flew into Gloucestershire over a year ago. But yeah. some things are, are looking a bit quickly. different. Oh, where have all the seats gone? This was the economy section, which we've cleared out. And you'll notice the panels in the ceiling have been removed as well as the central luggage compartments. This was the original galley that's been turned into a bar. And here is the party room. Where long-haul travellers once sat in the cheapest seats, now there's a place to party and dance. And already a couple are booked in to get married here in the spring. This entire project, a unique experience for the team behind the sound and lights. It's been really fun actually to work on such a great piece of engineering and to have a building that's absolutely perfect to the millimetre um, has been actually a great pleasure. Were there any challenges in terms of getting the sound right? We, we were very concerned about being in a long tunnel, um, but with because of the lining of the plane, found it actually acoustically, it's a really good acoustic space. But away from the dance floor, the majority of the 747 has been preserved as a museum piece. We've actually completely rewired the aircraft um, to be run on mains power. And from early March, the doors open for public tours. We want to share her you know, with, with everyone sort of in the local community, local educational um, institutions as well, um, colleges, schools, etc. So uh, it's going to be very accessible. Uh, all you need to do is go onto our app and uh, when that goes live in a couple of weeks and you'll be able to book a slot to come have a look around. It's been a labour of love for the team to look after such an iconic aircraft here and keeping her clean on the outside is a huge job, which went to Travis, who normally cleans nothing bigger than a car. The tail was really bad. It hadn't been cleaned since it came in over 12 months ago. So it was covered in aviation fuel and hydraulic fluid and stuff like that. So we spent a good amount of time on the tail. As you can see, it's nice and white now. So yeah, it was good. I'm quite proud of it, to be fair. It was an incredible experience, um, something that... I guess will go down forever with me. And my wife came up, my kids came up, so yeah, it was great. Tell us the amount of work you've had to do in recent months to Gosh. get her ready for opening. If I knew what a labour of love it was going to turn out to be when we first when I first took her, um, I would probably thought twice about <laughs> going down the street. But it's just been, it's been an amazing journey. Um, I was hoping that she'd be up and running sort of Easter last year. Um, and here we are sort of nearly a year later and she's she's just been finished now. So, but we're very excited about it and we've had a great team of people putting it all together. It's taken almost half a million pounds to get the aircraft ready for the public and for those that want to come on board in, have a party. But because so much equipment has been taken out, they've had to put the weight back in. So in the cargo hold under the nose is seven tons of ballast to make sure that the jumbo doesn't have a wobble which will be tested when the Queen of the Skies hosts her first party next month in her new home. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West at Cotswold Airport.